Tonight, a community coming together to confront their shared sorrow. Hundreds of people in Uvalde held a vigil for the 21 people gunned down while at Robb Elementary School. Pastors from this tight-knit town organized this as a call to prayer and healing. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a special edition of 12 News. I'm Jordan Williams. As Texas begins healing from the hurt of this tragedy, in the next few minutes, we're going to talk about the response from leaders in both parties and how schools and police say we should be responding. But first, the victims, the dedicated teacher, the outgoing 10-year-old. They are among the 21 innocent lives taken Tuesday in Uvalde. Well, today we found out those victims were all in a single classroom. It's all too real when you see their photos here side by side. The 19 students and their two teachers so full of life, remembered by their families for their love of sports, softball and swimming and for their smiles. Well, one of those victims was a nine year old little girl, only a couple of weeks shy of her 10th birthday. Adriana de Alba talked to her grieving family. For hours, we watched as families waited desperately for answers. By now, many of them have learned their children didn't make it. And for some, this unimaginable reality is still unreal. <laughs> the love of a grandma or abuelita is special. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. I love you. And that's why Nelda Lugo feels like her granddaughter, Ellie Garcia, will walk through the door once again. Todavía no se siente real. It no. still doesn't feel real. No. no creo que sea realidad esto. Her new reality came late Tuesday night. The family learned Ellie was among the 19 children shot and killed at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde. She says Ellie was always happy, loved making TikToks, and was excited to turn 10 in less than two weeks. She dreamed of one day having a quinceañera. Why her baby? People in this town are reeling with that same question. A lot of emotions, you know, anger, you know, frustration. Lupe Leja's eight-year-old son survived. His classroom on the opposite side of where the shooting happened. His son still doesn't know about the shooting. This dad trying to figure out when or how to tell him that at least five of his friends were killed. Well, only time when time comes. Hearts are broken. This abuela hasn't slept. She wonders, did her granddaughter suffer in her final moments? but tries to remember her sweet Ellie like this. I love you so much. A video to her dad filmed before this tragedy unfolded. When you get out of work, I'll be there for you. I love you, Dad. <laughs> In Uvalde. <sighs> I'm Adriana Dale. And tonight we are learning more about what led up to that shooting rampage. Officials say the gunman, 18 year old Salvador Ramos, was able to legally purchase the weapons. Governor Abbott confirmed today that the gunman posted his plans on Facebook before heading to the school. Ramos reportedly got angry with his grandma about who was going to pay the phone bill. And that's when he shot her in the face and left. That grandmother survived. Well, once he got to the school, he barricaded himself inside and started shooting. A fourth grader who hid under a table survived. He remembers hearing the gunman scream, it's time to die. 